By the way, Megatron flopped. Like, like these are the things she don't want to. I don't even know why. Like, I got a, I got a personal bone to pick with Joe. Joe. First of all, who gives a fuck what she thinks? We've been talking about this Nikki hatred for eighteen months. Ask her about Drake, nigga. Ask her the fuck about Drake. That's what we want to know about. Ask her about that, and ask her why the fuck is her music flopping. Megatron went on the charts and fell the fuck off in four weeks. She can't stay on the chart unless it's a remix, and it's somebody's song who's already been popping. She's just hoping she just dropped the, oh, welcome to the party. Like, welcome to the party, been popping in New York. She's hoping that she could, that could be the thing on the charts and then be like, oh, shit, oh, Nikki, no, nigga. Let's talk about how you were claiming 6 ix record like it was your motherfucking record, nigga. And then you acted like you wanted him to act like he was in a gang with you. you like, the nigga couldn't even fucking move his shoulders to a Cardi B song. Nigga, you know what you want. Stop playing. I seen the messages you were texting that nigga about me. I seen them. Relax. Relax, I'm telling you, I'm a petty nigga. I'm, I, I get down there with it. Listen, I, your ex-boyfriend, I went at him too. Remember when me, how we went at... Everybody's fair game to me. The best thing you should do is go up to this little Joe Budden show and deal with him because y'all got some personal relationship and some all type of shit. Leave my name the fuck one out of it because the pettiness will come. I will sit here and from now on, Nikki, since we want to really put the microscope on shit, every time you drop a song, I will detail and categorize it and track it till it drops off the chart. Let's really talk about what you need to talk about. Why your music is flopping. Why you're not putting out the hottest shit. Why you're riding waves of other niggas. You want to talk about shit? <clears throat> it will happen. Just remember that. Megatron, let's look at this bullshit ass song. Promoting that shit for a fucking month. How quick did it drop off the fucking charts? Your music, when you're making full songs, is old and regurgitated. You could still rap. You're one of the best still rapping. But when you're making, bop, 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 fuck out of here. Garbage. You can rap better than Cardi, but Cardi making better songs. This is 2019, niggas care about songs. You could rap here. My name is Megatron. My, nobody gives a fuck. You know what people want to hear? Real ass bitch give a fuck. About, that niggas just want good songs. Nobody give a fuck what you're saying about. Rapping like this is 20, 2009. Let's look at this fucking garbage ass song she dropped. Thinking, oh, she dropped the video as well. Fuck out of here. Megatron released... June 21st, 2019. Peak position. It it was... Hold on. Let me go to the Billboard charts. By the way, this is way better than Young Bands. Young Bands is washed. That nigga keep mentioning it. Yo, you're washed. Lil Tracy, I know you want to get into it too. I'll wash you again. But right now it's Nikki time. Anybody could get it. I live for this. There was a time that I used to talk and I'm like, yeah. Uh, these rappers never hear what I say. Now when they hear what I say, oh my God. I take five swigs of Henny, three gulps of Patron, and I'm ready for y'all. Okay, let me look at this bullshit ass fucking song. I want to watch it. Where's the chart history? Nicki Minaj chart, chart history. Here we go. Um, look up this bullshit ass song. She, she want to talk about every yo name a song that Nicki's put out by herself that she's bragging about. Oh my god, I'm dropping the remix, bitch. Are you the remix? Yo, she's done more remixes than Puff Daddy. Oh my god, I'm dropping the remix to the song that's already hot. Okay, I'm surprised she didn't jump on the. Uh, I'm surprised she didn't jump on this remix right here. I'm surprised she didn't jump on this remix right here. I'm surprised she didn't jump on this. I got pink.
Anyway, I'm glad Nicki Minaj mentioned me. Because the chip the chipmunk and the sidekick would love to put the focus on your music. So I'm gonna have every week I'm petty. Just like I did with young bands. Nicki Minaj, her song debuts here, it falls to here, goes to here, it's off the charts. And I don't want nobody to say act white. No, nigga. When you engage with me, now I have full reign to speak about your music failures. And you have a lot, Nikki. You're a queen and you are a legend. I could never take that from you. But right now, you are drowning. A bunch of raps that sound good that I like. But you could only do it on remixes. Your songs are stale. And that bap, 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 not going to work. You can stop relying on Jamaican culture. You're not even Jamaican. I was born there. Ugh. 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 Stop it. Stop it. You can use the samples of classic records as well. Ugh, no, stop. So we're going to highlight your failure in the next couple of months. And this album rollout is going to be surely good. And I'm pretty sure I'll get another DM from you on some really sobbing shit. But I like the energy that people put out publicly. Don't hit me in the DMs. Let's keep the energy there. The barbers can hate me. I love it. Let's keep the energy there. Don't hit me in the DMs just like after you hit me in the DMs after I expose that you were number two, not number one. And you're like, let God, I, like, uh, like I, I'm, I'm praying for you. Don't pray for me. Don't pray for me. Okay? I'm a nigga who just loves the bullshit. So, let's keep it there. Nikki, I'm going to be there with you. Okay? I'm waiting on the next record. I'm waiting on the next flop. And trust me. One thing, trust me. We young, we young bands, I waited a year. With Pierre Bourne, I waited a year. Trust me for you. <laughs> I could wait a year too. I love it. I ain't got nowhere to go. I'll be just here. I could wait a year. All right. Doing my little Nikki segment. Um, I don't like to talk about Cardi right to Nikki, but was Cardi saying anything? I'm good. Nah. And by the way, really important. No, no. Before I, if anybody takes this and clips it, make sure you clip this part too. I will never be Team Nikki or Team Cardi. I'm Team Me. Okay? I'm the devil spawn that they fucking put in the game that when y'all motherfuckers think y'all acting up, I finally get, get acknowledged enough that when y'all think y'all fuck, just leave me out of it. I've been chilling. I've been chilling. You bring my name up, whether it's Nikki or Cardi, I'm on your ass. And I love Cardi. Salute to P. But trust me, if, if, if this was Cardi, even P's even P from QC calling me when, no, I do my thing. That's how I make money. I'm sorry. I do my thing. I'm not Team Nikki or Team Cardi. I'm Team Chat Niggas and Team Me. Okay? That's all I would say. I don't pick sides. And I told Cardi, I said, Cardi, just let, let you know, I don't pick sides of whatever this is. Like, I let the shade room and ball room, let them do that bullshit. That's woman shit. I just report what it is. So if you get offended and think I'm trying to play you, you should... Wait. My mic get cut? Okay. You should understand it's not like that, but if you think it's like that, don't think I'm doing it or I'm saying something about you because I like somebody else. I don't like anyone. I like me. I only like me. I like me and I like my audience. I only like it. I don't like none of y'all. Nikki never paid me. Cardi never paid me. And I'm good with that. Okay. YK Osiris is buns. Somebody said, button let that Nikki on her show. Nikki got a... Let me just be clear. I didn't appreciate how Nikki was, was throwing shade at me. I didn't, I didn't appreciate it. I did not appreciate it. And you know what? I'm glad she did. Because I've always said, and I've told y'all here. Listen, I know... Listen, I'm the nigga who... When y'all see my demise, trust me. Just know I, I, my demise is off principle. Because I'm a nigga who gonna give the same energy to young bears as I would give to Nicki Minaj. I promise you that. Oh, you only, it's, it's something like, oh, you, you only got the energy if you, I asked somebody, you only got, no, nigga. Nigga, if it's Drake, if it's Meek, if it's anybody, listen, if I meet my match, I meet my match. But trust me, everybody gets the same fucking energy. 
I did not appreciate how Nicki Minaj even referred to me, even alluded to me, even then characterized me like I was some fucking hater. Now, I've been very fair with her. I've been very fair with her. And I've, and I've seen a lot of shit publicly with her that I could have called out that I chilled back on. But that will not happen anymore. And thank you, Nikki. You have brought this out. I can't wait. I couldn't wait. When I heard that, I said, Nikki, do you know who I am? I am the worst. I'm the pettiest. You talk about... I will be the bottom feeder of the bottom feet. I, I am the fucking worst. I know niggas. I know bitches who hate me. I know rappers who hate me. But you know what they all do? They leave me alone. You know why? You don't want this bitch ass thing on your case. I'm going to pull up the last messenger with Nikki. That's why I was shocked. Because let me tell you what Nikki is. Nikki's running a little pity train and she will. I guarantee I'm calling it out every single time I see it. Nikki is obsessed with Cardi fucking B. I'm gonna, uh, I'll reveal some more stuff about what, what me and Cardi talked about. But no disrespect will go tolerated. That's facts. I mean, I, listen, people be thinking I'm what side or what side. Nigga, I got smoke for every side. I don't give a fuck. Yo, Cardi B, Cardi B's, she comment, like, she DM me, on, she DM me some shit. Then I was like, is she trying to get funny with me? Oh, this is 100%. Like, a week before we got on the phone. And I was like, if I'm like, okay, private conversations are private conversations. Me and Drake has cussed each other out in private. I know y'all seen the, oh, yo, get on my live shit. No, but if, if he said some of the stuff he said to me in private, publicly, no, nigga, no. <laughs> you get me? So... Even like me and Cardi, like like she she says some stuff, and I was like, okay, let me see if you would repeat this publicly. And she ain't saying saying nothing like that, you know. And and then we got on the phone, we talked about that. So you know, it's water under the bridge. But when I see Nikki, the fucking bottom feeding female rapper right now, actually she's not, she's she's a boss. Anyway, but still, fuck you, Nikki. Okay. <laughs> Hold on, let me just read this message. No, no, really, nah. Here's my thing with Nikki. Nikki's obsessed with Cardi. Cardi's obsessed with Nikki too. Because Cardi wants to like remain at the top. And by the way, Cardi right now is the top female like selling rapper or whatever. She wants to remain at the top without much scrutiny, without having to go back and forth to this this woman who's ran it for a long time. Make no mistake, Nikki's ran it for a long time. The problem with Nikki is that she's blaming Everything that doesn't go her way on everybody else. My nigga, she thinks that, like, I heard her allude to, oh, the way our academics be posting. I think he, like, she, she alluded to that. He's on Atlantic's payroll on motherfucking the shit with Joe. Shorty, don't be, like, don't do that, then DM me. Don't do that, then DM me. Do not do that, then DM me. Don't do that then DM. I was, when, when the conversation was about lyrics, I was killing. I was fucking killing Cardi. And I was saying, don't y'all forget about Queen. She at least writing. Because I still care a little bit about people writing this shit. And I remember she DM me. And she was like, thank you for at least being fair. Because I had mentioned on Everyday Struggle, I said she's killing all her features. All her fucking features, which was true. She fucking DM me. Oh, thank you so much. You showed me love. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much for letting people know. Uh, and, and, and thank you for telling the truth about the Transformer. What, what song was Transformer? I don't even remember what song that was. This was, she said this in October. Transformer, Nicki Minaj. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's the Future Joint. Okay, yeah, she did kill that shit. This is, this is what I don't like about these artists. My nigga, Nikki, I'm not on your payroll. And Cardi, I'm not on your payroll neither. And this needs to be very fucking clear. If I'm giving props to you, it's because I think the song is good. If I give props to Cardi, it's because I think her song or her music or whatever she put out is good. Or she's doing a good move. Don't think I'm a Team Barb or Team Bardi. That shit bothers me. Because you know what happened? Around this time, I was really giving a lot of props on, 
Yo, what y'all better not say is that Nikki not killing these features. And she was killing these features. But until you say something critical of her, she flips it like you're a hater. This is why you can't be too cool with artists. These artists, they only think that you're signing up to be on their team. I don't give two fucks about the barbs. That's why I tweeted what I tweeted. I went at them multiple times. Fuck the barbs. I don't care. I don't care about the Barty gang neither. And I told that to Cardi B. I don't care. I am literally, nigga, I was surviving this shit. This is 2019. I've been in this shit for eight, nine years. I came equipped. If you wonder why, remember my Twitter and all that shit was getting that? That's because the barbs was, was fucking doing it. They leaked my number all the time. Like, they did all type of shit. Bro, I'm going to come right back. I'm the nigga. Listen, I'm stubborn as fuck. I'll come right back. I don't care. You leaked my number. You hacked my Twitter. You did. I'm back. What's up? What up? The only thing is that Cardi and Nikki. And by the way, Cardi said to me on the fucking phone. She says, I only know how to deal with bitches who are obsessed with me. Only way I know how to deal with it is to fight. And I said, Cardi, let me just tell you this. Who the fuck is messaging me? If you fight, you're going to look bad. And I'm going to I'm gonna say you look bad. Because Nikki has more cooth. She's more, her presence about her is a little bit more suave. So she might do these little slick things that might bother you. But when you throw a shoe, you look like a ratchet hood rat that couldn't tolerate it. Now, some people might give you the win, like, yo, you pulled up. That's great. But when when it's put all in perspective, oh, we're at we're at the, the, the Harper Bazaar, whatever that, that, that fucking ball is, and we have a hood rat throwing shoes, you look really horrible. So your little idea of, oh, I just want to fight, no, and you're never, ever going to catch Nikki like that again. I'm pretty sure y'all will never be in a room without probably a hundred man wallet between y'all. Get it? But that's how Cardi says she deals with these these, these situations. Cardi is realizing, and I could tell, she realized this one thing. She never has to mention Nikki to keep whatever she has right now. It feels opposite on the other side. Nikki needs to mention and draw pity from how people in her mind has treated her versus Cardi to raise back up to the level she felt she was at. I still think, whether Nikki's number one or number two, Nikki's that bitch and she's a queen. She's a queen in terms of being a legend. Lauren Hill's a queen. You have the queen B, which is of course Lil' Kim. She is a queen. These people are legends. But no one stays at the top forever. One of the things I liked about the conversation with, with, with Cardi and I is that she didn't seem delusional. Because I questioned her on that. I said, you know, there's going to be another bitch who's going to be the new hottest thing that everybody loves. And she said to me, she said, she said, Ak, you think I don't know that? She said, when that happens, I hope I'm not going around trying to claim everybody's just hating on me. There's not going to be a Barty hate train. I'm not going to just create it. Oh, there's a Barty hate. There's a Cardi B hate train. And I respect that. So, again, the whole thing with Nikki. Um, uh, Cardi B be fucking him a lot, I believe. And I told her, I said, yo, stop beefing the shade room. And she's like, no. Like, she didn't say no. She was just like, I shouldn't respond to certain things with blogs and bloggers. But I have to, like, I'm emotional sometimes. So, woman, you, I'm not saying all women are emotional, but get it. But she admits that she should get better. But, but one thing she said is that no matter, she said, whatever quote unquote narrative, and by the way, that's what Nikki been saying a lot narrative that people, she said, she said, they're trying to create a narrative that I hate black women when I consider myself black. When if you look at my family tree, there's, so much black ancestry there that I feel that I'm black. That they're trying to then confuse how I talk to people that are from the same way I talk to just bitches 
from where I'm from, they're trying to say I'm just racist against black people when I talk to everybody like that. And her thought was, yeah. I can't control all that. I can't make people think or believe whatever I want. I might respond to it, but you're fucking famous. The minute they stop doing that, you're not that bitch no more. And that's what Nikki don't realize. And I understand for her. In some parts I understand. She's like, yo, y'all build certain narratives. And that's why, you know, like even when it came to the motorsport thing, when when I kind of figured out and I was like, damn, I know Nick, niggas is kind of paying Nikki's a bad guy. She isn't a bad guy. But here's the thing. I could excuse her for that situation, but Nikki's a fucking professional victim. I don't want nobody who's robbed a bunch of people. The first time they get robbed, they're they're running to the cops and, and they're they're crying out, Oh, you'll have mercy. Like, yo, everybody like feel bad for me. Nikki, you try to bully everybody in the game. Like, the, you actually tried to get niggas fired. My nigga, you actually was calling around about me before I ever came around. How dare you even think you should even deserve a fair shake? How dare you? For me? Nigga, Charlamagne's better than me. A bitch called up to my job trying to get me fired. Fuck you for life. I don't care. I, that shit could sound hot as hell. Fuck it. That shit's whack. You know why? Bitch, you try to get at me. So don't act like you're the victim victim. That's why I don't fuck with, with her. I don't, don't act like you're the victim victim. Shit comes around. It comes around. The same way you treat people, you will get treated. Y'all tell me right now in the comment section. Somebody try to get you fired from your job. Somebody try to do shady shit to prevent you from getting the position you were in. And by the way, you know, Cardi even told me. She was like, yo... Matt, early, in, they said, she said, she do think fans cause a lot of stuff with her and, or Nikki. She's like, yo, people used to think I used to be talking about Cardi when, I, no, talking about Nikki when I'm talking about female rappers prevent me from shit, but it wasn't her, it was other people. People only just thought of her. But if they use her brain and connected some of the stuff I was saying, if I'm talking about a, like, a, um, a red carpet event, go look at who was at the red carpet event. She wasn't there. Other people were there. I'm talking about them. But people, you know, but y'all be, y'all be the judge on that. If y'all have seen Nikki do shit that has affected either you or other people around you in this industry, now you're in the twilight of your career where now you want everybody's support. Nikki's attitude is nasty. Did y'all hear on Queen Radio with Joe Button? Disgusting. Nasty attitude, bro. Nasty. Now we're supposed to come lick your feet? No. My, my grandma, God rest her soul, always told me this one thing. People going to kiss ass until they could kick it. They going to kiss your ass, kiss your ass until they think, oh, we don't need this bitch no more. Then they going to shit on you. The same DJs who used to love you with you treat them like shit. The moment they had somebody else that would treat them better, yeah, they don't give two fucks about you. It's life. That's how life goes. That's how life goes. Anyway. Trust me on that. The people who you shit on at the bottom, you better pray you stay at the top forever. If you don't want them to shit on you later on. Anyway. With all that being said, Nikki, I still love you. And you're still the queen, but right now you're number, like, you, I do think you're the best rapper overall in the female game, but you're number two in terms of hotness when it comes to the female rapper. Like, 